we present our work Motion Prior Contrast Maximization for Dense Continuous Time Motion Estimation. On the left, you see the events in a small time interval. On the right, you see the ground truth motion trajectory superimposed on the events. We introduce a self-supervised method for dense nonlinear motion estimation. The input are the events within a time window of about half a second. The output are continuous time nonlinear trajectories for every pixel filling the spatiotemporal volume. A straightforward inference pipeline looks like this. The input are the raw events. In the next steps, events are voxelized and forwarded to the neural network. It predicts pixel level trajectories, represented as continuous time parametric functions. These can be, for example, Bezier curves or interpolated basis functions. The problem is that ground truth is difficult if not impossible to obtain at scale for real-world use cases. So how do we train the network? A first option is to use simulated data. On the left you see the results of a model that trains on simulated event data and predicts on real data. The results do not capture the scene motion correctly. In other words, the example shows limited generalization capabilities. As a second option, we could use a self-supervised model. A common option are losses based on contrast maximization. On the right you see a visualization of events. If we know the correct trajectories within a scene and warp the events to a common reference time, we should get a sharp image. We use the sharpness of the image as objective. However, this approach has previously only been estimated on linear optical flow datasets with prediction times up to 100 milliseconds. We see here the inference pipeline introduced earlier. For training it can be extended with a self-supervised loss. The input to it are the predicted trajectories and the raw events. It warps the events to a reference time, builds an image of warped events and takes the inverse sharpness of the image as training loss. However, this needs association between potentially millions of events and thousands of nonlinear trajectories. You see here a simplified 1D plot of the assignment problem. For each event, here as red circle, we want to derive the displacement from the adjacent trajectories, shown as blue lines. Our solution uses a soft assignment via a k-nearest neighbor approach. We interpolate the per-event displacement for the k-closest trajectories. In practice, we further simplify the problem by computing a lookup table instead of per-event search and differentiable calculation using the k-ops framework. Let's take a closer look on the loss calculation. The k and n search is performed independently for several time bands. You see here a visualization of one time slice. For each entry of the lookup table, shown by the dotted grid, we find the k closest trajectories. Now the displacement is interpolated from these trajectories. Afterwards, we can simply look up the per event displacement. Warped events are obtained by adding events and displacements and summed per pixel to obtain the image of warped events. The inverse of its gradient magnitude is returned as the loss value. Evaluation is performed on EVIMO2, a dataset providing full poses and object models of several independent moving objects. Our model shows the best results among methods not using ground truth data in the target domain. While we provide in-domain results for EVIMO, recorded with a motion capture system, ground truth is not available in many real use cases. Additionally, we provide results for the DSEC optical flow benchmark. Our method shows state-of-the-art performance among self-supervised methods. The visualizations show an improved delineation of objects compared to previous methods. Here are some more results from the EVIMO2 test set.